the brain consists of over 80 billion neurons. Our thoughts, emotions, and actions are all encoded in the activity of these neurons. You look at a single synapse, we know it's part of a circuit, and we know that those circuits are processing many thoughts. What is thought? What is consciousness? We are just scratching the surface uh, in trying to understand how it is that we see, how it is that we make decisions, and how it is that we act. So I think it's the complexity of the brain that makes it a beautiful system to study. The workshop and symposium on brain, mind, and body really encompasses neuroengineering, neuroscience, cognitive science, machine learning. Just like we can use uh, machine learning and data science to make sig sense of physical signals, like wireless signals that come to a cell phone, we can also use the same uh, principles to make sense of much more complex signals that come from the brain. Well, there's a convergence occurring between computing in the brain and computing in artificial intelligence. Deep learning is one of many machine learning algorithms, and it's particularly good at the sorts of things that humans do. It's already reaching the point where it has capabilities we don't understand. The great opportunity here from a engineering and uh, science perspective is to study the brain, not in an isolated fashion, but also how it uh, interfaces with the body, of course, and the environment. You're hallucinating what's out there from the bits of information coming in. The brain circuits actually fill in what's missing. So your perception is an active perception. It's not a passive perception. There's so much we do not know about basic things like how our emotions are represented in the brain, where they're represented in the brain, or how we control our movements. Have you ever wondered why robots are so stiff? Controllers can't control all the joints at the same time the way that we can control all of our limbs at the same time. This workshop is about uh, harnessing unobtrusive nerve technologies to probe and modulate brain function as it interfaces with the body under everyday conditions allow us to really get inroads in brain function. And how can we harness that knowledge for making better interfaces between brains and machines? In order to solve these more difficult problems, we need many different parts of engineering to come together. We need them to talk to each other. We need them to work together. And, and that's happening here. Bringing together engineers, scientists, clinical practitioners, students, along with participants from the industry because it brings so many interdisciplinary experts, it might spark ideas as to how collaborations can be formed. Participants of the workshop will get out of this new ideas for addressing both neurological health and body health. If you have any interest in this explosion in either neuroscience or artificial intelligence or in robotics, you should come because this is where ground zero is occurring. These are the people who are actually making it happen. And there's something really special about being in the middle of this because you get to see what's going to come up five, ten years ahead. I find it fascinating how complex it is. I find it fascinating how we can use machine learning and mathematical tools to understand it and potential ways to interface with it. We're dealing here with a million billion parameters in your brain. That is an unbelievably high dimensional space. Trying to understand these very complex networks and how they are able to learn, it's just a wonderful time to, to be around and doing research.